A longtime resident at the Albuquerque Biopark Zoo died suddenly last night after a tree limb fell on Be the Camel. Now Biopark staff is putting a plan in motion to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. News 13's Kayla Ayers is live at the Biopark with the story. Kayla. Kim Biopark staff calls Bee's death a freak accident, but they are now evaluating all of the old cottonwood trees here and trimming or removing them as necessary. For the past two decades, Bee the Bactrian camel has made the Biopark her home. It's huge, you know. Um, Bee was that camel that greeted us every morning. Bee's stay here came to a sudden and unexpected end yesterday afternoon. Just about closing time, uh, one of the keepers heard a loud crack and boom. Zookeepers rushed to the exhibit. They say a large limb fell off a seemingly healthy cottonwood tree, striking Bee. She died a short time later. It wouldn't be extremely difficult to replace her as, an as a camel, but as an individual, it would be incredibly difficult to replace her. Last July, a strong storm toppled trees and brought down heavy limbs throughout the biopark. Since then, the biopark has spent about $50,000 trimming and clearing trees from the public areas. There's going to be a time when we won't have any of these big cottonwoods left. Biopark director Rick Janser says they came up with a plan this morning where crews will evaluate and trim trees on a routine basis in animal exhibits to hopefully prevent something like this from ever happening again. Janser says it had been a few years since the tree that killed Bee had been evaluated. It's just manpower. It takes a while to evaluate a tree. And a lot of trees that look like they're in good shape, like this one, can have a defect that's not apparent to the naked eye that makes the tree weak and will break. Crews were printing trees in the elephant camp this morning. Janser says there's a silver lining. They'll be saving many of the branches for the animals to play with. The biopark director says they could spend $100,000 over the next few years clearing trees. Kim, back to you. Okay, Kayla, the biopark director says they don't plan to add another Bactrin camel to their exhibit. He says they'll eventually phase out the camel display for something else.